it really takes you that fucking long to get out the bathroom. What were you doing in there? Oh, fuck. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, were you crying in there? Girl, what is it? Is it a boy problem? A girl problem? Because I can beat a bitch up right now if you need me to. I know I don't know you, but... boy problem why am i even surprised um well is this is this boy here okay because you're pretty and everything but your makeup is fucked up i don't know if you had a chance to look in the mirror but from girl to girl i cannot let you go out looking like that let's just stay in here i hope you get cleaned up and then you can go back out there and show that you're a badass, okay? Alright, so first things first, I'm really gonna need you to stop crying. Here, I'll just... I'm gonna pat instead of like rubbing because I don't wanna smudge your makeup that much more. Okay. I don't even know what happened, but I just want to say I'm so sorry. And whatever he did to you, you do not deserve it. <sighs> but I guess we can get into that in a second, right? Okay. So I <laughs> brought my makeup bag because I bring this with me everywhere. You will never catch me with a fucked up wing eyeliner or some smudge lipstick. <sighs> but I don't think I've ever seen you around before. You've got to be new. Figures. Well, I can definitely give you the rundown of Euphoria High because <laughs> trust me, it's not what you think it would be. <sighs> I'll tell you that. Okay. So the first thing that I'm gonna start by see. Okay. I'm actually going to so like some of your like foundation and concealer got a little bit like streaky because you cried. So I'm just going to use this brush just to buff it back into place, okay? Okay. You know, you actually have really nice skin, so I really don't even need to go back and just cake on more makeup. So you just transferred here not too long ago. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't think that you're going to be the special one, because... Transfers actually uh, don't ever know what they're getting themselves into. Yeah, there was this girl here who also transferred and she got herself into a shitstorm. Yep, with a guy and a girl, her own best friend. And can't even believe I'm saying this, but my ex. Yeah, you might have heard of him. Nate fucking Jacobs. It just makes my skin crawl even fucking thinking about him now. But yeah, we dated for the longest. I honestly thought that I was going to marry him. 
but life had other plans. And when I say life, I mean my best friend. Well, my ex best friend, Cassie. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know it's fucked up. It's so fucked up. <laughs> to this day, I'm like, was that a dream? Because none of it seems real. None of it. How can one day the man that you love and the one girl that you thought was your soulmate? Excluding Nate, of course. But at this point, people don't surprise me anymore. I, like, can't even see the good in people, honestly. People will fuck you over when it's most convenient for them. Like, the years of friendship, loyalty. <laughs> yeah, people don't know what that means anymore. Okay. So, you look fine now. Okay, yeah, I know your complexion looks great now, I must say. Okay. Let me see what else we could do. shadow palette here with me and I know you're not really wearing eyeshadow but I'm just gonna put a little bit on just to make your eyes pop trust me it's gonna make him feel like shit gosh where was I but yeah, that just pretty much recently happened to me, believe it or not. I mean, I'm fine, I guess. I really don't like to dwell on things that I can't, like that I have no control over. But, Promise you, Cassie, oh, that bitch is gonna get what she deserves. Oh, no, yeah, so I tried to be her ass, but I didn't know that bitch could run so quickly. Damn. I wasn't, like, exactly prepared to either, but this is just the beginning. So, you know, karma will always be there to get you, but if I'm not happy with the way it's done, Maddie will come and knock you out, so. <laughs> no, I know, it's fucking crazy. I still, like, I get so angry thinking about it, but... Everything happens for a reason. Okay. So tell me, what happened with you and your man? Oh wow, okay. Mm -hmm. Damn, okay. Sorry, you can finish. Classic, classic move. Men, like, at this point are so predictable. I, I don't even know what to do with myself. So... <laughs> that's crazy. So you don't know anybody here. And he just starts talking to you. You're thinking that he's nice. But then he has like all the same interests as you. And you think you're really vibing. He tells you all these sweet nothings that you've waited all your life to hear. 
and you think he's the one. And then this motherfucker ghosts you. And then you see him with a girl that he said, oh, you don't have to worry about. Fucking classic male, I just... Honestly, I think that's what we should be fighting towards. You know how they're been looking for a cure for cancer for probably the past, the entire time that I've been alive? We should start looking into how to extinct men, or the ones that already exist too. But damn, I'm so fucking sorry to hear. I don't know what's in the air, I don't know what's in the fucking water, but people just like are just really loving to show out this year. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if Mercury's been in retrograde for the past forever. I really don't fucking know, but I mean if you want me to go beat his ass and beat her ass, I definitely will. Because I've still got some pent-up anger in me that I can definitely let left out. <laughs> okay. That's your choice, but if you change your mind, I will be here. I know. This shit is really hard, honestly, to just like try to get up and move on from. This shit really fucking sucks. Like one day you thought everything was good and now you're just forced to pick up the pieces of your broken heart and just deal with this new reality that you didn't sign up for. Okay, you know what? Let me actually switch to another brush. gonna say I didn't want to lose my train of thought <sighs> it's like you want to be upset and you have the right to be and you totally are gonna be for some time <sighs> but then at some point you have to just learn to forgive and I know that sounds like a really fucking hard thing to do like these motherfuckers really deserve like my forgiveness no but you deserve to be like at peace with yourself, you know? Cause you don't want them to still be controlling your life and they're not even in it. Like, yeah, they might've fucked you over and controlled one part that you had no say in, but you do have say in like how you feel and how you wake up and go throughout your day. You have say into thinking is this shit gonna break me down or is it gonna make me into an even stronger and better bitch? There's two options you can go and becoming a better bitch is always the best one. Trust me girl, like I said, nobody asks for it and it's a really shitty thing that happens to anybody, but... I mean, if it'll make you feel any better, you could just go and beat their ass. I'm saying. <laughs> Every girl that I've ever had a problem with, she's gotten her fucking ass. I'm serious. Like, ever since I was younger, I just... I don't know. 
I don't want to call it a temper because they deserved it. But like, I don't know. I just, I'm not with the shits, you know? I'll let you know. I'm not one of those fake ass bitches like Cassie. I'm gonna strangle that motherfucker when I see her again. Trust and believe. She's so lucky she could run. Ended up fucking like twisting my ankle, but next time I see that bitch. But anyway, I'm just getting myself riled up now. Okay. So I am just going to set everything that I just did with some powder. But yeah, love. That would be my advice. You know what? I realized. As you get older, I don't know. I don't think it's easier to get over somebody that you loved. Everybody always says time heals all. No, it fucking doesn't. Time just allows you to like, I don't know. Like time for me has just made me more numb, you know? but I could still bowl down like a year and a half later. Doesn't mean I'm completely healed just because I'm not like thinking about it every day or something. But like I said, other than like just upgrading your life and becoming an even better bitch, you definitely just need to find like a hobby to get lost into or something you know whether it be going to the gym and trying to get a fat ass um definitely not drugs bitch i know i don't know you but we go to the same school and if i find out that you're on drugs i'm gonna fucking bash your head into a wall <laughs> I had a friend who was really heavy into drugs. It happened after her dad died. She'd been on it since like middle school, like right before we got into high school. And like the old hurt just didn't exist anymore. Like it was really fucking bad. I can't even like recall the amount of times that she OD'd. So, like I said, there are many ways to handle heartbreak, but the hardest thing, I think, is doing what actually is the best for you. Okay, girl. So... I don't want to like offend you or anything, but I'm just like, I have your back and you are so beautiful, but I see you have a little peach fuzz. So I was just gonna get a little bit of that. Cause when you go up into his face and you tell him that he's a fuck boy, I don't want him to be able to point out any flaw about you. I want you to know that you look at your baddest, alright? Yeah, just like stay right there. That's perfect. If you can sit here and not whine about me literally ripping these hairs from your face, <laughs> then you're an even stronger person than I am. Oh, you're high right now. Okay, well, yeah, that makes sense, but still. <laughs> but, I promise.
this year. Honestly, all you need to do this year is just listen to your heart. When you feel like, like something shady is happening, I hate to fucking say it, but it probably is. And that's what I didn't do, listen to my gut. Gosh. There's just so many subliminals that I didn't even see, and it's... And that's the other thing that you can't do, is sit there and, like, hate yourself. Because I did for a while. I wish I would have seen things, and I looked back, and I was like, fuck, how did I miss that? But we can't live the rest of our lives thinking that. It's a journey, but you got this. Alright, we were almost done, by the way. Just chilling. I'm fine being single. There was this guy that I met at a party um, a couple of weeks ago, but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't know. I was thinking about maybe hitting him up, but he'd honestly just be a rebound, and I'm pretty sure he wants to marry me. I don't even remember his name. I think it's like Travis or something. He's also new to the school, but that would just be my other little piece of advice to you. You should ask around who people are before you go falling in love. I'm telling you, we've all known each other for a long ass time, so when new people come, I would always suggest catching up on the tea. champ, you know that? <laughs> okay, so let me see. You're like nearly perfect. I'm just gonna do one more thing and then I'll be done. Okay, so last thing I'm gonna do is just make your eyebrows look poppin'. And then babe, you're gonna go out there and make that man regret ever fucking you over. Just brush them upward. Um, oh, the teachers at our school, what they're like. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I don't even do drugs like that, but. It's all kind of like a blur. They let us be like really independent. <laughs> yeah, our school is definitely not like other schools. And I really like that. As much fucked up shit that actually might happen, like between all the classmates and stuff. We're just, I don't know. We're not your average school. We're just different. There's arts here. There's music here. And just a lot of cool people. Even though, like, I've had some shitty experiences that doesn't take away from, like, all of the really good days and good times that I've had here. Good. Let me 
just push this one upward. So, are you going to be at the party next month, that big party? Oh, word. Okay, bet. Well, I will be there, and I'm going to bring my friend Kat there as well. And hopefully you can meet everybody else, you know, Rue, Lexi, but we'll see. But we definitely have to get numbers. Because I definitely feel like we've bonded and I really want to see how this works out. I'm telling you, girl, us heartbroken girls need to stay together because we actually know how it feels. been in here for probably like an hour and people probably think we're fucking or something I don't know so we should go and I want you to walk up to that guy look him dead in the eye and just laugh and you know you can add anything else you want in there too but if you want to beat that girl's ass I would suggest probably doing it right before you leave just because I'm sure the party's kind of going to be over after that um, but if you do need backup, you got me on speed dial. Okay, now let's go out here and show that man who is boss. <laughs> 